These niggas take me for granted What would happen if I vanish? Better hunt it, they panic My shooters only speak Spanish Keep my heart with my dogs Keep my car in the yard I can't drive in no way So I let you niggas take off Seen the shit that they drop That shit not instantly hot I give that instant rebuff That replay value go off That make my value go up I keep that bow with my cup My niggas rolling Got the going with a thousand of bus That nigga Kevin K. Rap He too sappy with his shit He don't rap me with his shit He on that teenage bullshit Ain't he about 20 and shit When he let go of that shit He'll probably be a little quarter Y'all agree with me shit That nigga need an act his age He ain't acting like a grown up Ain't that boy from Texas He ain't acting like a soldier Do that for your high school man That nigga wasn't awkward And I know his mama man That nigga just a liar Yo What are we doing tonight here? <laughs> <laughs> so mean shit, shit, got my last bitch, bitch, got my last check, check, catch on me, shit, shit, catch on me, shit, shit, got my last bitch, bitch, got my last check, check, catch on me, shit. I find a lot of graffiti to just be the same and generic looking. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's all bad. I feel like I'm trying to stand out in some way. And I guess that's why I try to do all this crazy shit. And then sometimes I can pull it off, but truthfully sometimes I fuck it up a lot. So I'm trying to find a healthy balance of what's abstract enough that I can live with it, but what's also um, what's also catering to the more like I guess traditional-ish kind of graph. One time my friend and I were painting and it was at night in Brooklyn. And uh, he was about to hit this door and these two dudes walked out and they saw the spray cans and they were like two big fucking giant burly ass dudes, my dude, two fucking chasing us. So we turn a corner and jump into a fucking garbage truck. That was honestly the first time I ever got like chased. Deep down I wouldn't mind getting chased a little bit more. I love trackside spots the most just because I get to relax and I feel like I can actually express myself. It's a very, very raw form of expression to me to just go outside and fucking, you know, scribble a name onto something, gets you out of the house, it's fucking everywhere. There's always shit that's tagged on, there's always shit that has graffiti on it. I'd like to not get my teeth kicked in or fucking shot, just because I like to draw flower pots on the side of trains or whatever, but I feel like if you're gonna write, you have to be willing to deal with that. This shit is almost therapeutic to me. Like, we're having a shitty fucking day and shit sucks and I feel depressed or I feel like I want to suck in a shotgun or something. I don't know, this shit. It's like kind of an escape. I got chased pretty recently, actually. I thought it would be a bigger snowstorm than it actually was. It turned out to be pretty light. It was also a Friday night, and I don't usually like to go out Friday nights because I don't want to get booked for the whole weekend. I climb up the side of these pipes up to the top of this building, and I'm on the roof for a little bit. I see a light flashing on me as I'm doing my shit. I hear, hey, but I don't like... <laughs> I don't turn around. Suddenly, uh, I hear, get down here, turn around, look down. Uh, there's like four cops just on the street corner shining their light on me. Uh, they can't like get to me directly, but I'm not going to jump right down to them, you know? They don't even know how I got up there. The roof gives me access to the whole block. I can climb a lot of other like roofs to get higher and lower. And eventually I find a little, basically a cove where I can climb down and I don't want to camp out on the roof if I'm going to like freeze there. I just have to walk home because uh, I can't go back to the spot where I was <laughs> and blow, my, blow it up like that for myself. So I just walk an hour until <laughs> I get home in this snowstorm. Definitely I have been like out in the Bronx and you know, it's sunrise, I'm catching a tag on like 149 or 161 or some shit, and 
uh, the cop car just happens to be out there on the corner and I just like, you know, go flying in uh, the opposite direction of a one-way street, hop into the subway and kind of blend in with the morning commuters. Been through these neighborhoods like 30, 40, 50 times I'm always still discovering new shit because I'm looking out for spots to paint. So the way it's just changed my relationship with space uh, is really interesting. I've already been around the city so many times on my own just for fun. Why not have like a marker of all the places I've been and then people can kind of keep tabs or even I can kind of keep tabs on where I've been. And it's kind of cool to see your stuff and be like oh shit when did I do that and you almost completely forget like maybe you were drunk or maybe it was just like such a nowhere spot or it just got lost in like a hundred different tags of the night and you just completely forgot and then you come up to that neighborhood like three months six months a year later you see it's still rocking and you're like oh shit I did that even though I'm pretty grounded most of the time I do think like, to the average person, it looks pretty wild. Who the fuck is this person that is just writing out a three-word name? My baseline of what's normal is just completely fucked. And if, uh, if you ask, like, has this ever happened to you? Or have you ever seen this or that? The answer is probably yes. <laughs> being held by the neck by about four guys <laughs> and they're trying to take his camera I'll shoot you <laughs> and then he turns on me so yo yo come here come here yeah like you would come here after all that I'm glad that shit didn't pop off on me TMZ here wanted to take a bunch of photos <laughs> <laughs> Cause he was mad cause he was like drunk driving. I could tell, I could smell the alcohol on him, you know? Grabs me by the neck, his homeboys are pulling him off of me. So I grab him by the neck cause he grabs me by the neck. So it's just one for one. I'm like, I will fucking fight back. You don't gotta prove yourself. I'm just saying, you also don't want to get stomped out. Um, here we go. To the hood, <laughs> cool off a bit. <laughs> It doesn't really mean anything, it just, I like the letters and the structure of it. My point is, is just like to find a canvas or a big canvas. I don't really care who sees it or not. Just have fun, man. It's like anything else. Just fucking keep on doing it because it's fun. And I feel like when you're having fun, doing something you enjoy, you just, you get better at it. Where I come from, which is Central Florida, you gotta drive everywhere and just to fucking hit spots. So you kind of have to develop a different strategy. Normally, if you're like trying to hit the streets in Central Florida, you're lucky if that shit would ride for like a couple days. Like less than eight hours, I've gone to bed after painting and then 
rolled down the street again and it was it was already painted up. I mean I did like a pretty fun MF Doom, like a giant mask under like this bridge, and then I ended up parking in front of a fucking police officer's house and he ran my plates, went to my house. They were wondering why I was fucking parked in front of his house and I had no idea. We got police at my at our house like looking for you and I was like fuck dude and then I ran back and we fucking had to sneak back to my car and then just dip out of there. In ancient Rome, it was very common for art to be reserved for the higher class. The lower class couldn't really afford it as much, so they were frustrated, angry, and a little bit pissed off, understandably so, so they grabbed rocks, chisels, and whatever paint they can scrounge together, made up fake names, and wrote them on walls. The upper class hated this, they, 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 they despised this, as it wasn't real fine art. So what did they do? They expunged it as best they could from history as much as they possibly can. I was born and raised in Williamsburg, and growing up in Williamsburg, graffiti was everywhere. We were always trespassing and in buildings, and always trying to find little cool areas that we could make ours. Now doing graffiti brings the back that nostalgia. I want to go back to like the old Williamsburg. I was always looking for places that feel like old Williamsburg because of how the neighborhood changed and was gentrified and how we were displaced. I I feel homesick to what it was and how it used to be. And I'm homesick to my friends that live there and they're not there anymore, moved. It's nostalgia, homesick is nostalgia. A lot of people would think I'm not from New York because I write homesick, but I'm from here. I just miss what it used to be. Their entire you know neighborhood growing up was, it was just neglected and abandoned, but that's, but we love that. We made it our home. I'm I'm sober. I don't do no drugs. Uh, I'm also vegan. I've been vegan for like seven years. Uh, in graffiti, that's like almost like an anomaly. It's sad, but a lot of graffiti writers, you know, they do a lot of drugs. They're addicts, you know. A lot of them pass away. I'm more about like quality over quantity. I'd rather have like ten pieces than have a hundred throwies. I want people to see my like like see one of my pieces and be like, how the fuck he got away with that? Eight letters, fucking two words, and it's got like 10 colors. Like, how the fuck? And once that adrenaline hits and you get that, that dopamine and you get that high, you just, you just, you're up until you, know, you get rid of all your paint. So I started writing graffiti in 2007, and there was these kids, they had like, there was, there was a gang of bloods, you know, in, on, on the south side, and we played basketball, so they were, I was cool with them because, like, if you're good in basketball, then like everybody like respects you in the hood. And they did graph. And they used to climb like buildings and shit. And I kind of wanted to just like fit in and like be down with them. And so they we went on a couple of missions and they didn't really have like a tag. I just kind of went on adventures with them. And then I started writing, I started writing N3ST and we had a little crew and it was just called North Third Street. Cause that's like where we grew up. It's, I wrote that for like 10 years, but it never it never flowed. It never flowed like Homesick does. Magic was one of my best friends. He was like my first partner in crime. I didn't know what grieving was until he passed. Like, I don't know how, what grief felt like. And anytime I'm doing some wild shit, like climbing, I know he's like watching me like, you're good, you're not gonna fuck up because I'm here. I'm here keeping you safe. So one time we, we, we went like in Cypress Hills. And I'm like halfway done with my 
my like straight letter and these guys across the street they're lurking and they see what we're doing and they're obviously like drug addicts trying to scare us into like giving them money his friends acting like he has a gun in his pocket moments like that happen all the time sometimes you gotta just take the loss Home is freedom, freedom is home. Home is giving someone you love space to live. Home is traveling with friends, dead or alive. Home is where you feel comfortable telling the truth. Home mm. is a place where you can make mistakes. Home is a place for learning and growth. Home is a journey through the galaxy with, with people that you love. Home is eternal, home is trust, home is safety, home is home. I liked it. Was good at it and I was really Oh man, this is such like old style New York graph video where you got the fucking flash on. Dude's painting in the full fucking like coat and furry hat. That's like every fucking New York graph video. Yo, state your name. <laughs> Yo, Delude, tell us how hard it was coming up in the streets. Queensbridge murderers, the mob comes equipped for warfare. Beware of my crime family who got enough shots to share for all. Yeah, anything else you want to say? Any shout outs? Uh, Messages for the youth. <laughs> fuck all, yeah. <laughs> you ain't done shit for me. Yeah, cut that out. Okay. I might leave it. Shout out to nobody. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't blackmail me.